And as for the festival's biggest surprise, it involves former Khan champion Quentin Tarantino, whose latest movie in competition was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. The film about two movie stars drew the biggest press interest in France. And so, despite failing to win any awards, the gritty period piece did win the hearts of festival goers. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Thank you. To tell us more about what was the talk of the town in Cannes this year is film critic Jason Gorba, managing editor at ThatChart.com. Jason, so it's the first time a Korean movie takes home the big prize, and I know many critics loved it too. What did you think? Did you like the movie? I adore Parasite, and I could not be happier. For 25 years that I've been going to film festivals, Korean films really have been the highlight for me. It's the first cinema that really sort of knocked me in my head. They have an incredible symphonic way of blending genres, of taking almost like a chef or like a conductor, of taking these various pieces and putting them together. And Parasite is very much that movie. Yes, it has elements of a, a caper, a thrill, a, a grifter movie, uh, a suspense movie, a family drama all at once. And the way that uh, Bong Joon-ho sort of shifts tonality so much throughout the film is so exciting. And for it to get uh, a claim on this international stage, I could not be more thrilled. It feels like the world is finally coming towards the movies I love. And if we can look for one palm door that absolutely fits my taste, this is one of them. So French Senegalese director uh, Mati Diop's Atlantics got the grand prize this year, being the first black woman in the competition. Can you please remind us what the movie was about? So the movie is actually a quite beautiful lyrical film based on uh, an expanded short. Um, essentially a love story, but also a ghost story. What happens when the, uh, the economic uh, disaster taking place in Senegal sort of affects people directly, and when the spirits of those people sort of come back after a tragedy at sea. I think the film is very good and a very excellent calling card. It was, certainly wasn't my favorite of the festival, but I think to have um, a woman of color take home this prize, the first black woman ever nominated uh, for, uh, to, to be in the competition for her to take the prize is not only uh, sort of a, a wonderful testament to the incredible diversity of filmmakers out there, but a real, a real indication of the direction that Kent really needs to go to speak to a greater and wider audience not just the sort of same tired people that they often call back year after year. So all of the four prize-winning movies address um, hot-button issues like um, working-class struggles or right-wing politics or migration even. What do you make out of this picture? I think that we're just living in a world now of a lot of chaos, a lot of tension. And I think, um, I mean, uh, Inuraktu actually talked about this at the, at the jury uh, ceremony, the, the press conference afterwards. Artists look to what's happening now, and in some ways, as he said, they can sort of see the future. They're very attuned to what's going on. So certainly there's a lot of thematic consistency in many of the films as they play out. But I think this is not such a coincidence. We are living through some very troubling times. We're seeing the rise of forces that fought long, uh, long past. And so I think art is very much struggling with this, about how we find, how our identities work, how we can actually find liberty within the sort of uh, changing uh, modes that are taking place all over the world, whatever country you're in. So I think the artists are at the forefront of this discussion, and a lot of the films reflect those concerns. And there was a madness surrounding um, Quentin Tarantino. Do you think Once Upon a Time in Hollywood lived up to the expectations? Oh, I love the Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> I love the Quentin Tarantino film. I think it's extraordinary. It may very well be his best. I mean, Jackie Brown is still pretty extraordinary. I've only seen it once. But it really is the culmination of everything uh, Tarantino has done throughout his career. The pairing of Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio is absolutely, profoundly amazing. And look, that was the one film where you really felt that you were at the center of the Hollywood universe. It felt like a Hollywood premiere, but on a can scale with the beautiful palm trees and stuff like that, but also the sort of legacy and the, the energy that you get from Cam. That was the one celebration here at the festival where it felt truly that Cam was the most important place in the world to be at that time. And look, this festival isn't always that. It often plays very small films uh, in terms of audience appreciation, things that only play the festival circuit. 
So yes, this is a big, broad Hollywood product and it has a whole bunch of A-list stars, but it's also artistically very pure. It has some incredible storytelling, beautiful music, exceptional editing, incredible visuals. It, it truly was one of the great films. Now, it didn't need the bump of a Palme d'Or, the way that something in Pulp Fiction really needed to establish this career really established his career. So we didn't need to necessarily get awards, but it's for sure one of the best films to play in competition. And I could not be more thrilled that it was here to have it showcased at the Storied Festival. Jason Gorba, film critic, thank you so much for this.